hi guys welcome to my channel thank you for always stopping by if you are new here thank you for stopping by don't go anywhere subscribe hit click on the notification bell comment like and share and to all my old subscribers thank you for always coming back don't go anywhere i'll be right back and we'll just dive into today's topic thank you <laughs> okay guys let's just dive into it from the topic you have know what i want to talk about today so i just want to share tips and tricks that have made motherhood easier for me so motherhood joining is the sweetest thing ever that has happened to me but it can be so stressful and overwhelming honestly let's not lie motherhood is not easy it's not for the weak and it brings out the inner strength a woman has what you don't think you can do you find yourself doing it and doing it well and let me tell you this to every mother out there you are the best mother for your kids and you are doing very well you are trying your best you are doing very very well you are doing well let me clap for you so to all mothers we are all doing well irrespective of the sad days the happy days the days you are weak the days you can't um maybe make a proper meal don't worry you are doing absolutely well and to all our TTC moms don't worry your bundle of joy is coming very soon we'll rejoice with you we we'll celebrate with your twins we we'll celebrate with your triplets we we'll celebrate with your boys like i said I'm, I'm just going to talk about the three the tips and tricks that has helped me so without wasting our time let's just dive into it since i have my jotter here i jot some points down so the first thing that has helped me is that i have my family around me honestly i'm not even joking this is the number one thing that has made motherhood journey easier for me. For example, you stay in Lagos. You grew up in Lagos. You have your mom in Lagos. You have your dad in Lagos. You have your siblings in Lagos. And eventually when you wanted to get married, your husband works in Lagos and lived in Lagos. Don't be scared about mother. Don't be scared about motherhood. Don't be scared about, okay, how will I be when I give it? Honestly, having family and friends around makes the world, the work a lot easier for you. Especially when you want to go out or maybe when you just give birth, you have all of them around you compared to somebody that is very far. There will, there will be different factors that people will not be able to come and meet the person. Maybe due to work, due to distance and all of that. You should understand, Sha. But when you have a family around, there's no excuse. They will come. Like you're about to say, oh man, should buy. All of them will come. They will, they will celebrate with you. They will help you. They will assist you. Honestly, you will feel so relieved. And I can't say we have anybody can we I can't say somebody somebody we have a bad family because I want to say for, uh, except for the people that has bad family. Family is good, family is good. I've not experienced that before, but if you have experienced that before, you can let us know in the comment section. Maybe whereby you have a family around and none of you have, none of them helped you. But for me, as far as I'm concerned, I live the, I live in a bad My family is in a bad My in-laws are in a bad and when I give birth to Adonis, they really help me and it makes that motherhood journey really easier for me. Honestly, I will not even lie. Is it when you want to go out, when they start growing up, you want to go out, I will just drop my son with my mom and I will do whatever I want to do without even um, panicking or afraid that, ah, or whatever, uh, hope you will not cry. She took care of my son very, very well. Anytime I want to go out, is it when I'm overwhelmed and I just need to cool off my brain? Honestly, I'll just pack my few of my things and spend weekend with my mom. That is how it is. And when I get to my mom's place, I act as if the boy is not mine. Honestly, I will not like. I act as if the boy is not mine. It's my mom that will do the cleaning. You, you know, grandmas now. That is even what they like, and that is what you want. You just carry the boy, clean up for the boy, do everything, give him food. When I was still breastfeeding him, my own is just to breastfeed him. And give it back to give him back to his grandma, but when it's not breastfeeding, I don't even care. Just go. I'm not for now. I'll just act as if I'm not going to give it, and I will enjoy myself, and I will be very relieved. And that is only possible because I have them around. If I don't have them around, I will not be able to do all that honestly. So it has really, really made the journey easier for me. There's at times that when I maybe I'm just stressed or I'm or I'm sick or whatever, I'll just tell my mom see that oh. I'm not feeling fine. I should just be like, just bring Adonis. Adonis is my son's name. So I'll just take him to my grandma's place and, and I'll have my weekend at home to myself and my husband. You can imagine how that is 
So I'll just take them to grandma's place for the weekend. Take them to grandma's place for the weekend and I'll have myself alone in my house and enjoy it. So for those of you that you know have the families around, probably the family stays in Kaduna and marriage has taken you people to Lagos. Don't worry. You will survive. At least there's nanny, just that you have to pay, and from there you make you make friends, make uh, family friends, and whatever. So you two, you will survive. Honestly, I'm just saying it makes the work easier for me. I'll give my families around. So even if you don't have families around around you, you can go for nannies. You can go for nannies. Just be careful because there are bad nannies out here. Just be careful. Use the right agents, and you'll be fine. So that is all about that. And the second thing that has really made motherhood journey easy for me is that what? I have. So guys, so another thing is that having a supportive partner. Yes, after going through my life and ever since I started motherhood two years ago, more than two years ago, I realized it has really, really made motherhood journey easy for me. Yes, having a supportive partner. I'm not even joking. See, when my son, excuse me, when my son was very very young when he was still a baby when i go to the shop i started shop about two months after when i go to the shop and i come back from the shop what i do to my son is just to probably change this do i even change his clothes i doubt maybe once in a while sure. or maybe look for the clothes the only thing i do is just to prepare his food please i've told you earlier to ignore that sound please just focus on me and i hope my mic is bringing out my voice very well. I just hope it is very loud. So that one is just by the way. So the only thing I do is just to maybe prepare my son's food and go to the kitchen and start cooking for me and my husband. I don't cook in the morning. It's, it's a tradition in my house. It's very rare for us to cook in the morning. Only really when my son starts going to school, that's when I start preparing his food. You know, it's lunch. So when my son was young i don't cook in the morning it's not as if i wake up very early to pack lunch for my husband or whatever no so it was only in the night i only cook dinner every day and so when i come back from the shop i would just drop my son my son straight i'll just drop him with my husband prepare his food bam he will be the one to feed him and he will be the one to rock him to bed so it really really make that damn time very very easy for me because you can imagine you can imagine I'll be the one to cook, more probably clean, and at the same time, maybe I have clothes to soak, and I'll still be the one to still feed him. I'll still be the one to still back him, to still rock him. It's going to be overwhelming, honestly. I'm not even going to lie. That stress will be very much. But for the fact that I'm just alone, I'm not with him, I have somebody that is taking care of him, I'll just do whatever I want to do, fast, 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 without distraction. So it makes that journey very easy for me, and I really thank God for that. So I just give him to his dad, who will feed him, who will rock him to bed. At times, the reason I do is maybe if I just want to change his diaper, after changing his diaper, he can even do, do give um, wear his clothes for him. Once I drop his clothes, or wear it for him. And my own is just to prepare dinner, eat, and sleep. Mostly, my husband rock my my son to bed. And at the same time... So guys, having a supportive and an understanding partner, yes, I don't include the understanding before, having a supportive and an understanding partner will make motherhood journey very easy for you. The journey is not that easy, but at least things that will shall help you to balance a bit, it will really make it easy for you. So, and the trick I use is that I carry my husband along, you know, carry them along. Let them know that you are raising this child together. Involve them. Some men are ready to help, but they don't know what to do. So why don't you involve them? See, if you are doing superwoman, you will break down. And if you break down, you will not like it. Because there will be things you want to do that nobody can do it better than you. And you will not be able to do it when you eventually break down, when you are sick. And we will not fall sick by God's grace. God will keep strengthening all of us. So guys, carry them along. Let them help in things that you know that okay, you can do it and you can help me with and you have that time. Just carry them along. I did not say you should start fighting your husband. Do I you not say it's one to me thing that said eh, you, you must do this, you must that. No, 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 no. You shall know how you will do it. You have the wisdom and you and I know God will help you. So you know how you carry them along. And once you get them involved, honestly, that little thing, even if it's just let me to wear these boy slippers, please. Why I do something else, honestly. You'll be relieved that is just it 
So another thing that has really helped me is that I don't do more than myself. This is for people that they don't even have help. They don't have anybody around them. They are far away. They are not with their family and friends. Hmm. This really help you. My neighbor used to say something. He would say, Ma Mojukuro. For those that do not understand Yoruba, Mojukuro means like you just take your eyes off it as if you do not see it. If you keep doing Superwoman, my darling, you will break down. <laughs> you will break down and you will not like it. So, number one, number the, the thing, the, the number three thing that I'm going to talk about is that I don't do more than myself. See, if I'm if I if I check the house and I realize I have to wash plates, I have to sweep the floor. I have somebody that helped me. I'm still coming back to that too. But I just died to bring this point first before I talk about that one. I have to wash plates, I have to sweep the floor. I have I have, I'm a business where I go to shop oh, so to let you know that I don't have time at all. I'll go in the morning, I'll come back in the evening, every blazer day, even on Saturdays. I have clothes to wash. I have the bedroom bed to lay. I have so many things to do. I do what I can do. And the most important thing, the number one on top. Let me give you an example. If I want to wash plates, if I want to sweep the floor, and I feel, okay, this is our sitting room, our bedroom, it must always be very neat. I will do those ones first. And maybe I have heaps of clothes to pack. Not to wash, oh, it's washed though. Move a car to pack, to pack them very well into individual wardrobe. My dear, I will look away. I will leave their clothes where I put them. Maybe I used to put them inside my second room here. That's why I used to put those clothes. I'll put it on the bed. Nobody's using the bed. So once I pack them from the line or from my baby's dryer, I will just put them on the bed. Especially my own. My son's own, I'll pack it very well. I'll put it in his wardrobe. I will just look away. I cannot keep myself. After doing all that, after washing, the, after cleaning the sitting room, and probably after cleaning the cleaning the bedroom, even the sitting room, my husband still at least thanks to him he helps in doing that at times. He helps in doing that. It's very very safe. My boy is really trying his best. So maybe the room and the kitchen. I've already do. I've already set all those ones. I'll not still go and be and pack one clothes. My dear, I used to look away. Maya look away. I cannot kill myself. At times, maybe when I, maybe I've already overworked myself at the shop, and that very day, I wanted to cook amala and begiri. Or probably I wanted to cook amala and egusi, and, I, and I'm already very, very tired. My day, I would switch that food to Indomie, or I should, I, or I should just switch it to bread and tea, or bread and egg. Why? Because I cannot do my, I cannot keep myself. I don't do more than myself. I do what my capacity can carry. I put the important ones at the front, then the rest, I leave it for the second day. So don't go and be doing superwoman. Don't go do superwoman, my darling. You will break down. Except if you have that inner strength very well. Fine. You can do it. But for me, you have to miss me. I know they do more than myself. I love my hair so much. Ah, this is the sweet print that God should give me perfect hair very well. I will never do more than myself. So that's another thing. I don't do more than myself. So my dear, try those, of, those people that do not have help, please. Don't do more than yourself. You are a good mother. You are a good wife. And you are trying your best. Do what you can. Just proper planning. That's just what it needs. So less important thing that you feel you can substitute. Always substitute them with something that are much easier. That at least will save strength for the second day. Surely those that are working. So that's one point. That's one that's really helped me this motherhood journey. I don't do more than myself. Let me do a recap. I have my families and friends around, especially my family. Not let me ignore friends. Let me no not friends. I have my family. It's not, I'm not ignoring my friends though, as my friends are not included. In my family. I have my families around. Then I have a supportive husband, a supportive partner, and I don't do more than myself. Then the last one I'm going to be talking about today is that I get as much help I can get. Like I get help. As much help as I can, I don't. I don't even know how to put this one. I just get help. Anytime I need need help, my dear, I get help. I don't. I don't sit down and start doing so many things myself. No, I get help. For example, I don't have a nanny. I don't have an. I don't have house help, and I don't have nanny. 
I don't know if how Sepanani is the same. I sure I don't have anybody that stay with stay with me. Do I wanted to get one, but due to personal reason, I couldn't get one because my my husband even he wanted it really bad that so that at least I'll be stressing myself at least the person be paying me with my house chores. But glory be to God, I got somebody around me. The guy lives very close to my house and he comes to my house every day and I pay him daily. So once he comes to my house, he wash the plates. I can't remember the last time I washed plates in this house. Honestly, I used to see it. I can't remember. Maybe if I wash like when when I go to my mom's place and my sister is not around. Please ignore that sound. My son again. And my mom is not around. And my sister is not around to wash plates. Maybe that's when I wash plates. Maybe just once. I can't remember. I can't remember the last time I washed plates. So he helps with washing of the plates. He helps with sweeping of the floor. He helps with so many things. Just the, basically the chores in the house. It really helps with the chores in the house. And it has really, really lived so many things. As in, it really makes this journey very, very easy for me. That's another great point, honestly. It really, really made this journey easy for me. And at the same time, my shop, I have a sales girl. So I try as much as I, I try to get help as much as I can. Anywhere I see that, okay, this is help. I try and get help. So it has really, really made the journey easy for me. At least when it comes, I will not wash people. The only thing for me to cook, he will clean the sitting room, he will clean the room, every blessed thing. And he comes every day and I pay him daily. The only time he didn't come to my house is probably on Sunday and it's once in a while. He comes to my house every blessed day at night. It's always around 6 to 8. He comes to my house around 6 and he leaves around 8. Sometimes he leaves around 7.30. And probably I want to send him out to buy stuffs for me. Maybe I, I forgot to buy something when I'm coming from shop. He goes out to buy all those stuff. Like I send him. Yes, you want to eat? I'm already cooking, sorry. So that help, like I said, is getting a washing machine. Washing machine is part of help. It's not human help, but at least it is help too. You know, carry your clothes outside every Saturday and start washing, washing, washing. Washing machine makes work very easy. Especially those that use automatic. If you use automatic, you are enjoying. Just put the washing machine there and you just come back to pack it. Even me that I'm using a manual washing machine, I can tell you it has helped me in a very, very long way. As in... It has, gone, it has gone a long way for me. I really, really love my washing machine and it has really, really helped me. At least I'll, it saves me some strength. It saves me some strength and that is the cocoa of the matter. So, you know, if you cannot get to my help too, you can get machine help. I don't know if it's correct. You guys should correct me. You can get machine help now. So, it's part of help. So, I try as much as possible to just get help. Like, Getting a blender in your home so that anytime you want to grind pepe, you not just walk outside to start sleeping for a grinding machine. Those in Lagos, I don't even think they are. Oh, they have is my mommy's place that I stay in Lagos. We used to grind pepe outside and they have. I don't think they have where they will grind pepe. So you guys actually have where you grind pepe. So getting a blender will really help you. At least you just wash your pepe and grind your pepe inside. You know, get help. Things that you feel. All these things can make this work very, very easy for you. Try and get. I'm trying to remember something, but my head is not pressing this right now. But that is all for now. Yeah. Thank you very much. This video is already getting long. I pray I won't cut some parts away because it's really getting long. So that is all for now. That has been. That has really make model journey easier for me. Model can be overwhelming. Everybody knows that it can be overwhelming. And it can be tiring, it can be stressful, but these are the tips and tricks that has really, really helped me. Like, my family is around me, a supportive partner, and I carry him along like we are in this together. I know they do more than myself, yes, I'll keep saying this, I don't do more than myself. I save my strength for later, because there will obviously be something that will happen later, so I save my strength for later. And I take care of my health. Please, if you are a mother, take care of my of your health very well. Please, you don't. So please take care of your health as a mother. You don't want to break down. You don't want to fall sick. Take care of your health and try as uh, try and get help as much as you can. Yes, try and get help as much as you can. Any help, physical help, human help, um, human help, machine help, any help. Please just try and get help. So those are the tips and tricks that. I can process now that I can remember that has really helped me and it has made this journey a lot easier for me. I would like to know in the comment section tips and tricks that you have used that has really made 
motherhood journey is there for you or probably among the points i've mentioned if it has also helped you guys please i would like to know in the comment section let me know and please guys is the subscribe button subscription is free subscribe like comment and share especially if you're interested in the kind of content i'm putting out please guys subscribe and turn on the notification bell turn on the notification bell. you don't want to miss out thank you very much see you guys next time bye for now bye